tail. That's his, that's his little bed winch. His little young bed winch. But when the shit hit the fan, and they was in the business and process of killing niggas, right? Um, there was a real quick scene that showed her ass again. And her ass was in a fucking ditch with blood running out of her fucking mouth. It was a real quick scene. They showed it real quick, but she was dead. Because these crackers don't give a fuck about her. And I bet you they probably ran a train on her before they killed her. They don't understand what these people are. They don't understand no. what, what they don't. But they about to find out. They it's, gonna find it's, out. It's white on white at this point. And I've been saying this on, especially on my Facebook for so long. I said, they're going to find out the hard way. And they, I'm still seeing some of these posts of the arrogance. Yeah. That's only because it's been two weeks. It's only two weeks. Give it a couple months. Yeah. That's and I'm saying, yeah. and like I was telling you today, once they get into that month phase, they shh, whatever man they got at the house, whatever human deal though, mm -hmm. they got at the house that ain't shit. Or, you know, she's going to try to take the position like, this is getting serious. Mm -hmm. I got to figure out, because she's always been in charge. Yeah. So men need to understand that she's going to take the position like, nigga, you ain't got nothing going on. She's going to start talking to you like that. Because mm -hmm. she's trying to figure out her next move now. Yeah, exactly. You That's that there. phase, yeah. That's true, because you were the pet. Yeah. And the gynocracy has always had its nigger pets, right? Uh, that dick for, you know, late night, late yeah. night. And, you know, pop out some babies. You know what I'm saying, but that put, that's put them still in the system. Yeah, yeah, but that puts you in the system, and <laughs> she, and even if you are a bum, which she chose, she'll still benefit from the system itself. Right. Even if you don't come through. And the system is done. And the system is done. It ain't gonna be back to how it was. It's yeah. not. And that's let, let me put that warning out there for any intelligent women out there. When this so-called pops back, you know, it's not gonna be like it was. So some shit that you're losing now, you better get used to not having it. Right. And um, slow but sure, we're going to see that, that that arrogance be wiped off their face. And some of them are still using, I like girls, boo. One chick told me, I'm a lesbian. I'm like, boo, your lifestyle shit don't mean nothing. It don't right mean now. shit. Yeah. And you're saying, okay. I'm a lesbian. You're defining yourself by a lifestyle. <laughs> that doesn't tell me who you are, essentially. No. So, again, confusion. It's, they, they're going down with the ship, man, and it's yeah. unfortunate. And brothers need to understand that, which is how we, we, we let you, we land the, the, the tracks out. Yeah. To make these men understand, you're going to have to have this itinerary. That's true. For her. You're going to have to. But we land it out of where it's going. You need to understand what you're dealing with. That's true. And when she come knocking at your door. Yeah. You know. Talking you about you got something to eat. No. And let me put this out here too, because Jason Black said it, and this shit is so true. When we go shopping, you know, we, you know, all of the poultry and the perishables <laughs> are empty as fuck. But the canned goods is still pretty much stocked. Yeah, it's crazy. In a quarantine, fool, you're supposed to stock up on canned goods because you don't know when they might not let you even go shopping. Yeah. You don't fucking know what, what's, what, what's gonna happen. So I'm saying, and then they got the National Guard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just in case, you know, you want to get a little extra extra or whatever. But I'm just saying, this you pay attention to what's happening around you. There's some real shit happening. Yeah. And it's white on white. So if, you know, you can con yourself if you like. Um what are the top three things that you expect from a woman or women in your life. Um, 
that you accept as a responsibility? What, what are the top three things that you feel like, even if you just kind of thought about a little bit, that you want from or expect from her, at least on an interpersonal level, uh, if you take on that responsibility? So the top three things? Yeah, what's, what's just off the top of your head? Well, I would say, if I were to say top of my head, number one would be fully her cooperation on things that I need That's first her and to do. Absolutely, first and No foremost. arguments. If I'm saying, hey, go ahead, do this, make this right turn. Mm-hmm. Well, I need to, why don't we just... None of that. I, I yeah. can't. Oh, I can't stand that shit. I can't have that. That's just too much. Why can't we... We just... I thought... I didn't tell you that. Yeah. Don't do that. Right. I already said that. Yeah. That's number one. That's number cooperation. one. Cooperation. Secondly, That's good. I would say, um, really for her to be engaging in even some of the things that I need her to do. In other words, if I send her to do a task, yeah. don't just do it. Have the best interest of the whole situation at hand. Oh, um, oh, I picked up a couple more extra uh bags or whatever or whatever um, it is whatever it may be yeah um because they they had like two and i talked to the guy the manager i was able to kind of finesse that situation yeah. and get us more or what Finable, we whatever what we ordered that's so, right that's what i mean that's right yeah looking showing at her whole... value not chasing a bag yes you're just looking for a bag show you gonna have to show your value yeah that's true you know what i mean and thirdly i would just say just really I just need that that feminine yes. side of her. Yeah, that's true. And um, as opposed to masculine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I just need the feminine version of myself. Yes. I, I want that. Yeah. You Absolutely. Know, as a lady, soft. Hey. Whew, you know smells what I'm good. Yeah. Thighs. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh man, yeah. So man. yeah, and that. Um, I just need that. Absolutely. But um, not just that. Mm-hmm. And you know, a lot of women, when there is no expectations of them, they just bring their ass. That's it. And they whack ass attitude. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. not, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Damn. So, um, and I like your first point, which was really cooperation. Um, because you may suggest that she learn a skill that will help you in what you're doing. Yeah. And she's got to be cooperative, you know. This will also make her better. Yeah. She'll learn something new, um, <clears throat> you know, and um, and that's that. So she will actually start developing. She will start developing, yeah. Because now she's, in the feminine side, she's experiencing something she probably never knew about herself. Yeah. Yeah. Same way a man does by doing things. He's learning as That's he's correct. growing and experiencing. That's correct. And enjoying the process. Mm-hmm. Same thing with her. Right. Sit her ass down, learn something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Start developing yourself. Right. I ain't say go lift no boulders and bricks. Right. I ain't saying do all that. But start learning something about yourself. Mm-hmm. No, you might true. like it. Yeah, that's true. Bam. That's real talk. Um... How do you view the end goal? For a lot of women, the end goal is marriage, being married. Um, a lot of women are foolishly not thinking of the end goal when they should be. A lot, they're not preparing for it. Um, what is your end goal as far as having uh, a woman or a woman in your life what, what's your end goal oh man that's a that's a great question because there's some things i sometimes ponder on like but i will really i just always envision just my family as mm-hmm. is it stupid oh yeah 
it's just my family as a whole um, sharing. Uh, like I told you today, like I'm seeing them being their best self. Yeah. That brings me a certain optimal of joy. That's correct. Yeah. And if I can see that as a whole, them actually being their best self, mm -hmm. taking what even what I instilled in my version of who I am mm -hmm. and instilling it to them so they could be the best version of who they are. Yeah. And multiplying that for myself, that would be a major end game and that's fulfilling to me. That is. And it it's is. harmonious. It is very to much the so. family, and I can I will be able to rest in peace, literally, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you know. And that's just for myself, you know what I mean? I agree. And if I had a hundred women like that, mm -hmm. you know, I yeah. mean, if I'm able to afford that, yeah, it will still be the same. Be the same. You want to see them at their best, and uh, it's nothing like a woman that that's, that glows, that has a glow to her, and. I'm, I'm pretty sure you would agree that women, even in their later years, are preserved. Oh man, yeah. Especially when they have a good name. Yeah. It's, there is nothing that will preserve them.